Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss what are mutations. We'll discuss basic facts regarding mutations. So I'm just giving the title to this video, which is mutations, the basic introduction. So what are the things that we will be discussing in this, in this particular video? We'll discuss that um, how mutations they are generated and what are the different factors associated with mutations. As you can see here, I have made the diagram of the cell and inside the cell, we have nucleus. Inside the nucleus, we have the DNA and DNA is composed of A, T, G, C. These are the uh, bases that are there in the DNA and they constitute the the whole sequence of DNA molecule and in that sequence you have the triplet code that will code for a specific amino acid and then you'll have a lot of amino acids bound together and they will fold to form a protein molecule and that protein molecule will have a certain function that will lead to a particular character or a particular phenotype. So this is how this the, the understanding of the role of the DNA sequence uh, is there especially in case of in in case of the eukaryotic cell here i'm discussing now if there is any change in the dna sequence that is also considered as the the mutation or you can also call it as an alteration in the dna sequence so we all know that uh, what is gene gene is composed of the dna sequence and if there is any alteration that is that will that will cause the change in the function of that particular gene it may or may not cause the change so we'll discuss that now mutations they can be there because of the error in dna replication point one it can be uh, incorporated during the process of mitosis meiosis or there are other factors that can cause the damage to the dna molecule now as i mentioned earlier that it may not produce detectable change that is why I'm highlighting not word here. So you can have the mutation, but there is no detectable change. The example for this, which I can, I can say is the normal process, is the evolution. During the process of evolution, there is a change in the DNA, but that is not abnormal. Next is the abnormal processes, like certain types of diseases, including cancer, when there is a specific mutation in a, in a, in a gene that can cause uh, the, the disease in the form of cancer. So there are mutagenic compounds that, that can lead to cancer through the process of mutation. Now I can, I can call it the, as the ultimate source of genetic variation because constantly mutations, they are happening in our body and because of that next generation will have different type of genetic composition so we can call it as the ultimate source of genetic variation now if i if i talk about impact of mutation on the in the gene first thing is that there may or may not be any impact on the gene it can alter the function of gene and third point which is very very important is the it can block the function of that particular protein. So these are the three important, three important points that needs to be considered while studying mutations. And now how mutations, they can be prevented. So our body, our body has a well-defined mechanism, which is called DNA repair mechanism. And this is responsible for the correction of any errors they are incorporated during the cellular processes. And this mechanism is very, very rigorous. It can also prevent any errors. So if there is any error that is happened, that happened because of any mutagen or any abnormal processes, it can be altered by using the DNA repair mechanisms. Or if there is a chance of error that is that can be incorporated that can also be pre prevented so dna repair mechanisms they are very very important for the cell so this completes our overall introduction overall theme of the mutation where we have discussed right we have the cell and inside the cell we have dna molecule and 
that sequence of DNA molecule is responsible for the expression of proteins. And if the sequence is getting altered or it is getting changed, that obviously going to have certain impact on the protein structure as well as on the function. We have discussed the process of evolution and linked it with mutations. We have discussed the process of cancer and how cancer and mutations, they are related. After that, we have uh, discussed that, okay, what is the impact of the gene? Uh, impact on the gene of the mutation. Finally, we have discussed the DNA repair mechanism. Just the introduction. We will cover all these topics in detail. So please stay tuned to this channel. And if you like the video, please share the video with your friends. And uh, I will post more videos. And I hope that these videos, they are going to help you in your exam. Thank you. Take care.